I will explain to you how the Reserve Bank can make use of the sale of foreign exchange to and from the banks to influence the money market deficit. The first way that the bank can do it is the outright sales of foreign exchange. The bank sells foreign exchange to the banks. The South African Reserve Bank sells foreign exchange to the banks. and receive South African rands in return. This process will increase the money market deficit. The money market deficit will increase because South African rands would be flowing out of the economy to the bank where it cannot be used in the economy and foreign exchange reserves will be flowing into the economy. But foreign exchange cannot be used in South Africa because it needs to be exchanged for rands first before it can be used. Therefore, this causes the money market, the money market deficit to increase. If the Reserve Bank wants to decrease the money market deficit, they can stop the process around and buy foreign exchange from the banks and give them South African rands in return. <coughs> the bank, however, wants to ensure that they maintain a certain level of foreign exchange reserves. So they prefer engaging in foreign exchange swaps as opposed to the outright sales of foreign exchange. In a foreign exchange swap, the bank sells foreign exchange to the banks and takes South African rands back and at the same time <coughs> engages in a contract to buy back the foreign exchange at a later stage. So in the first league, the, the South African bank, uh, the South African Reserve Bank sells foreign exchange to the banks. This increases the money market deficit. In the second leg, the South African Reserve Bank then honours the contract by buying back the foreign exchange from the banks. This decreases the money market deficit. So not only has the South African Reserve Bank influenced the money market deficit, but they have also managed to maintain a certain level of foreign exchange reserves.